trying <laughs> out their hookah because hookah still got the black community by the throat girl are you okay like their house is right there right there and then jog 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 across the street la fitness this one a little better with the knives in the background because they cut throat because they kill us i love it i love it bitch. this is actually where their um sex shop is so the pleasure point erotic co <laughs> come on this is not a chiropractor Ooh. appointment oh my Sweet god blood. yep with the bonnet on because it's a bonnet chronicles bitch Burnt the bridge, stay there, cause I'm cool over here A1 since day one, tough flaky bitches beware I hustle, I do here, and I might take you in But no, if that happens, it wasn't in the plans In the back of the van, tied up like a hog If a bitch feel jumpy, tell her go and leave frog Matter of fact, read the room, I'm the wife and the groom Cause nobody fucking with me from here to the moon I'm in my own big world, I'm the number one girl Pretty in the face, raised by some real niggas, so I'm thorough Whether I'm rocking braids with sneaks or heels With a curl, trophy type, it's a wife, so buy me down for your team gets free game how to keep a chick give her more money if she already rich give her love even if you was a thug and stay out my dms nigga if you was a scrub free game how to keep a chick give her more money if she already rich give her love even if you was a thug and stay out my dms nigga if you was a scrub Greetings and salutations, y'all. Welcome to my first Sims 4 Let's Play. This is going to be called The Bonnet Chronicles. I know everybody has been mad for some reason about, you know, bad bitches and bonnets, but <laughs> let's stay mad this summer because here are our two wonderful Sims. I have never done a Let's Play before, so this is going to be a first for me. I hope you guys enjoy it. So here are our two Sims that I'm going to be introducing y'all to. They are moving into their new apartment, so I'm just going to quickly show y'all what the u-haul is i said apartment it's a house it ain't an apartment it's a house they live in lavish so i'm gonna show y'all what's in the u-haul still they still have some luggage to get out some plants um some amazon boxes some wig stands you know they gotta keep their wigs crispy and clean and cute um more boxes some photos hookah still got the black community by the throat so of course they have to have some hookah they got two stripper poles um little backstory about them both of them did use to strip so you know they did use to strip they actually um they have been best friends since high school but they also both worked at a strip club together um i'll tell you which one was the bartender and which one was the stripper but they did both work at a strip club together so they both do know how to strip um and uh, here is some more luggage some u-haul boxes and um some stuff that they're taking out um one of beverly's old hoes got her some flowers on the way out from their last town they were living in san my Shun, but they decided to kind of go to a quieter place they had their sex shop they just felt like it was just a good move for them to go to business was doing okay so they decided to move into this bigger better place that's a lot more quieter so yeah one of beverly's old hoes got her this um some fenty makeup some flowers and all that she don't want to be tied down to nobody but you know it was a cute little gesture or whatever as her farewell um from the city so this is just bedroom stuff and the little dolly that came with it but yeah um moving back to our characters um introducing you to our first one this is genevieve venus that is her name i will be calling her jenny or Gigi, just for short um but that is genevieve or Gigi. And then um, this is her roomie slash best friend, Beverly. So Beverly and Beverly, <laughs> Beverly and um, Jenny will be our main characters for this Let's Play. So I'm going to go ahead and have us go into create a sim for the one time. And then I'm going to go ahead and show y'all their outfits. So let's go ahead and head to create a sim to do just that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all like Genevieve's slash Jenny's personality. Her full name is Genevieve Venus. Like I said earlier, one of her um asked for her aspiration is a love aspiration. Um, it's about self care. So this sim wants to know what it means to love themselves. And um, the extra trait that she earned was alluring. So alluring sims are more successful at romance than others. Some of her likes and dislikes, she doesn't have that many. I'm going to make it so that the game kind of um, helps her set up the rest of them. But she likes alternative music and hip hop. 
She is attracted to women, but not attracted to men at all. And her two favorite activities are painting. So she will be painting some beautiful things for us and wellness. So that's some of her likes and dislikes and her aspiration. So one of her Woo-hoo! traits is Jiggy. Not she feeling it. Woo! Jiggy. Sims like you are all that in a bag of chips. Every moment of the day, you walk around fly as ever with the freshest outfit any sitch or siga has ever seen. Everyone around thinks you're rich because you look like you're made of money. In other words, he's got hella cheddar. She, in this case. Just from what other sims think of you, all the fly honeys flock to you and your crew. Especially since you're always the life of the party. With your super fly personality, it's easier for you to make friends. You absolutely love house parties, but no one, and I say no one, can throw a party like you throw a party. Hosting events are in your blood because you always want to make sure everyone is having a great time. What can you say? You're the life of the party. Her next trait is Shea Butter Baby. Walking around with your Shea Butter soft skin and genuine personality isn't easy. Sims like you tend to have a hard time getting ahead because you refuse to have to change yourself for anyone. Does that stop you? Hell no. And guess what? You're going to make it because of that. You tend to enjoy reading, writing, and music. Reading always makes you think about the different experiences of Sims and their races slash color. You also tend to suffer from anxiety too, which can cause panic attacks. It doesn't bother you too much because it's an obstacle you've overcome. Overall, you're always the person you want to be, regardless of what other Sims think or say. Then of course, I had to give her a motherfucking hottie trait. She is a hottie. Everyone in SimCity knows that the hotties are the baddest stitches in town, spreading positivity and good sissy all year round. Living life as a hottie can be one big party and you love driving the boat. You're always ready to drop it low and make Megan proud by showing off your revolutionary new knee game. Plus, twerking and shaking what the watcher gave you comes naturally. Especially if a Megan Thee Stallion song comes on. It's over, baby. The only thing you don't believe in is dry beef. You tend to fark with any with everybody that farks with you. Unless they talk about Megan. If anybody tries to come for Megan, you're going to have to release the inner stallion. Period. So that's the tea about my bitch, Jenny. And then she's also a dancer. So these Sims are really good at dancing. And she is black AF. Who got good melanated looks? You do. Who know how to throw down in the kitchen? You do. Who got soul? You do, my brothers and sisters. Having this trait means you come from a family that is as thick as thieves, but will throw down with each other if they need to. You probably have a whole bunch of cousins, aunts, and uncles, even if they're not directly blood-related. Your grandparents normally keep everyone in order and contain any bickering that may occur. You always have the best cookouts and will throw meat on the grill to... Oh, will throw meat on the grill no matter the weather. Every sim around is always trying to touch your hair, plus you always stay looking fresh. You're really just the jack of all trades. What can't you do? So those are all of Jenny's traits. Looking at her outfit number one, this is her first everyday outfit. Peep the purse, peep the nails to match the blue, the diamond watch. She got some necklaces on, the jewelry, her little nose, her two nose rings, the hair. Everything's just laid and slayed like your fave could never. This is her first outfit. And this is outfit number two. So outfit number two is the same outfit just with a bonnet. This is the Bonnet Chronicles. She will be wearing bonnet some days. So get used to it. This is her second outfit with a bonnet on. This is outfit number three. She got the slide. She got the little phone to go with it. She got her little open t-shirt. As you can see on her necklace, she is a Virgo. So this is our Virgo baddie. Here is, you know, her hair and all of that. Her necklace, her little earrings, just Poppington. And her tat, of course, she's tatted to the gods. She got her leg tat. She got her her little sleeve. And then this is the same thing, but in a bonnet, of course, she had to pull it out for the one time. Japanese-inspired bonnet tay 
And then this is her formal outfit. So I only gave her one formal outfit, but I gave her three different headwears for it. So this is what it looks like up close. She got her little Louis Vuitton earrings, her Virgo necklace, a makeup beats, looking very natural. This is her first outfit. This is her second outfit. So this is the same exact outfit in a bonnet. Yeah, a bonnet can be formal. Who's gonna check you and say that it's not? No one. So this is her second outfit for her bonnet. And then last but not least, she also has a little gay lay to go with her outfit because she just popping like that. And her best friend is African. Yes, I gave Beverly the African trait. So she obviously knows a little bit about African culture. Africa is a continent. I know, I know. Just let's be general for this Let's Play. Um, The next outfit we have is her little tennis outfit with some bulky shoes. Of course, Pete, the little AirPod game. She said, yeah, I like AirPods. I personally don't like AirPods. I don't own them for that reason. But my Sims do. So they're going to do it. This is her natural hair. Um, Her natural hair is texturized. So it's not usually this texture. But it's texturized. So that's what her natural hair looks like. And same thing. But with a bonnet. And then she has one more outfit like this, but this with no shoes. So she likes wellness. I will be having them do yoga and different things like that together. Next, we have her next outfit. She got her little waist trainer to stay snatched and cute. And let's pretend that it actually goes around her waist, but at least it goes to the front. So it's training her waist. She got her little all white Hirachi, some nails, same thing, same makeup. And then she has the exact same outfit on just with a head wrap this time, as y'all can see. This is so cute. Got her edges laid. For once you don't feel like doing her hair, just tie it right in there, right in the head wrap. Now she has her sleepwear. So this is what her sleepwear is looking like. She has her little Playboy outfit. She has some Ugg slippers. Still her little tats. I don't usually give my Sims like makeup. All she has on right now is lip gloss to sleep in. Since realistically, that's you know lip gloss chapstick that's why her lips glistening but yeah no makeup she's still look at her skin just popping i will be taking care of their skin with um the kawaii stacy um sol mod so they will be doing skincare and face masks and different things like that together for their wellness activity and she has her bonnet her naruto bonnet look at that the little naruto's on there um and this is going to be what she sleeps in oh i didn't even take off her shoes there we go so she's going to sleep in this with the Naruto bonnet just to make sure she has um, something to protect her hair. And this is her next outfit, thicker than a snicker. That's, it looks a little basic, but it's not because she got cake. Cake is just what she got. Um, She got her little dragon arm sleeve and then her tattoo. And then she got her Chanel sandals. She got her G necklace. And don't forget, she also got her chanel bonnet to match so she said dripping in cc's as she should be uh, i don't know if y'all peeped because i like to pay attention to the tiny details i made sure to keep her nails short for all her sleepy time outfits because that's when she sometimes you know sleeps with the baddies and she can't be having long nails because i guess she likes to talk you know <laughs> anyways um back to her outfits <laughs> this is her final outfit wait is this one is that it okay yeah so this is what her outfit is when she just wants to wear her natural hair, like before she actually gets to bed to sleep. And then this is her final outfit. This is going to be for like a special little event that I have planned for them. So I'll show y'all what that is when it happens. But this is her other sleep time outfit. So this is her party outfit. She came to not fucking play with nobody. Look at her. She said, bitch, I am the moment. I like you can't tell her shit. Her edges are laid, her lipstick is popping, her lashes are good, her mascara is good, her eyeshadow is good, the skin is gleaming, like, the outfit is coordinated, the shoes, the everything. She ate. She destroyed this assignment, valedictorian of her motherfucking class. So, this is party outfit number one, when she wants to come for everyone's next, including my own. This is outfit number two. So, outfit number two... It's not supposed to be black hair. I don't know why it keeps trying to play with me. It's supposed to be white hair. This is outfit number two. So it's supposed to be white hair to match the shoes. But for whatever reason, every time I switch the outfit, it switches it for the third one. And then when I hit it back to black so it matches with this one, it just goes ahead and switches this one too. I don't know 
what that is if somebody can help me figure that out please do but i will literally go back and change her hair every single time because i'm that petty and this game will not break me so <laughs> this is her outfit number two her party outfit she got her heels her like 45 inch brazilian heel <laughs> she imports it that herself because she a boss woman um she got her lashes her nose ring her matte lipstick some nice big earrings some swoop swoop swoops for them you know little swoop de doop on her edges and yeah that's outfit number two and then outfit number three is in black even though it's trying to play with me i just switched it um this is outfit number three this is like if they want to go to like something that's a little scandalous you know just something to change into um she got her necklace she has her earrings her hair her thigh high boots her cake is just glistening love it and then her final outfit this is like more for like a chill girl's not out she has her little shoes her little heels her little hair something nice casual a little understated but still you know popping and still uniquely jenny and moving on to her swimwear this is her swimwear so swimwear popping um just like a basic one piece and she also has these Chanel glasses. And then her second swimwear is just the same exact outfit without the glasses for when she's swimming in the pool. And then her third swimwear is if she's feeding, feeling Cheetalicious and just kind of wants to pop out. She got her little Chanel earrings, her G necklace for Gigi. And then this is like for like kind of like a pool party, kind of chill beach day they do have a pool in the back of their house so i will be having them hang by the pool a lot and then this is the same thing but just with some nice chanel glasses to give a little pop that she needs next we have her hot weather outfit this is the outfit that we saw her in when she started the let's play this is the outfit that she, this is like her first hot weather outfit. So, you know, hot girl with the all red, the purse, her hair. Just, she was like, yeah, I got that shit. So press, look at them baby hairs. You can't say shit to me because my shit is wavy. Like, I know that's right, period. So this is her first hot weather outfit. And then sometimes it be too hot and you need to put a little do-rag on to keep your shit straight and keep that shit Pressed. so she gonna put a do-rag on because she built like that and she can do whatever the fuck she want because she fucking jenny <laughs> she genevieve you can't say shit to her and then this is her next one with her natural hair just a little little something something when it's extra hot and then she has this outfit so she has her little purse some sneakers some hair you know a nice little bob wig for whenever she don't feel like doing her hair and then she ends it once again with the bonnet that y'all saw her in and let's finish off her winter outfit so this does these are her winter outfits so her first winter outfit she has a little bonnet to protect her hair and then her second one is the super long kind of wavy hair look i love the makeup the eye makeup that i put on her and then some earrings so this is her first her her second winter look this is her third winter look with you know a mask on keeping it cute keeping it sexy and then this is her fourth winter look and it's just with the do-rag instead this time so yeah you know this is jenny so introducing jenny and now it's time to introduce and we put her back in her every day now it's time to introduce our bad bitch beverly so this is beverly petite um, she actually has the aspiration of wanting to be a top surgeon. So this sim wants to excel in the medical field. Yes, they do own a sex shop together. They are trying to be, you know, successful black entrepreneurs and they are going to be in a lot of different fields. Beverly is going to be enrolling in medical school. So she is definitely going to be excited and ready for that. So let's see if she gets in. Um, she's a quick learner, so quick learners build all skills a little bit faster. Some of her likes and dislikes, um, she likes women and men. Beverly also has wellness and fitness as two of her likes. So that was pretty much it. She just likes wellness and fitness, and she likes men and women. So just a little bit about 
Beverly, she is lovable. These sims build romantic relationships fast because of how lovable they are. She is sporty. These sims are good at all things physical. She is also African. This trait is for African sims. These sims are hardworking, intelligent workaholics who always strive for the best. They are very fit in cooked food and homemade goods. They also love to party. And then she is also a hottie. I already read that description for um, Jenny, but she is a hottie, Beverly. And then Beverly is also a fuckboy. So fuckboys can't stay still. They can't do right by anyone. They simply choose not to. They have the urge to constantly flirt and woohoo with different sims. So Beverly is not interested in being settled down. She's not interested in, you know, little having kids and all that stuff. Beverly is just there for Beverly. And I'm, I can't be mad at it. That's the energy that we like to see. And she's a hottie. So she's upfront about that shit. She don't care. So Beverly is our bad bitch. And so is Genevieve. But let's focus on Beverly and get into her. This is like her little look. You no, know, got a little bit of makeup on and all that. Um, Beverly is definitely out of the two. She's a little bit more of the girly girl. She also really only likes to wear her hair in like braids, um, bantu knots, different types of twists locks natural hairstyles you'll rarely see beverly in like a lace front but when she does wear them she pops out and i'll show y'all what i mean by that so let's go ahead and look at outfit number one this is her first outfit she got her little purse she got her shoes as you can see she is not as tatted as jenny but she has little beauty tattoo that says beyond fear lies or i think yeah beyond fear lies freedom um and she also has this little Playboy bunny tattoo. And I want to say she has like this melanin tattoo on the side of her. So she's not as tatted, but she does have little cute tattoos here and there. So this is outfit number one. This is outfit number two. So, you know, she got the little, once again, long twist makeup on fleek. Chanel earrings, phone, because she stay on that bitch. And nails, as always, looking popping. And bonnet because bonnet gang 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 and then she also has a bonnet version for her first outfit so where the bonnets pop out next you have her formal so she just said i'm just gonna be african once again i know africa is a continent but we're gonna be general for this let's play she's african so she had to use some african print um here are some thigh high boots that she has on as well let's get a little bit close for the hair and makeup like look at her look at her just ah, like a goddess little butterfly accessories i also went ahead and gave her a gele to go with it i don't know if other cultures have this but in nigerian culture they do wear geles for like special events so this is the gele that matches with her outfit just you know looks so good the detail that they put into it it's like perfect i love it so much this is a bonnet that she also can wear with her outfit so you know bonnets can be formal too you see how the bonnet and the gele just have so much in common let's put some respect on both their names like they both look regal to me they both look good to me <laughs> i know that's right okay moving on to her athletic outfit so this is the outfit that we saw her in when i started the let's play um she is wearing a waist trainer i know that the waist trainer does not go all the way around but let's fucking pretend because this is a pretend game so let's do that um <laughs> um and then some you know some black harachis and her bonnet as well this is her first athletic outfit so she also kind of has a matching outfit with jenny hers is in pink jenny was in white um, but this is her outfit with her hair, same bulky shoes, and then uh, this is the same outfit, but just with the bonnet, same shoes. And then her third outfit is the same one, but with no shoes for when they do yoga and things like that together. Then you have her outfit that she was in for the Let's Play to start off. And then the same outfit, but just with like space buns and braids, because you know, Beverly stay looking extra neat in her braided wigs and her braids and locks and all that. And then this is her sleepwear. So she still stays, you know, kind of locked up. She has her Playboy outfit, some Louis Vuitton slippers, her phone, because she stay on the hoe. <laughs> then she also has no slippers and this head wrap, Louis Vuitton head wrap that she wears to sleep for when she wants to protect whatever braided style and twisted style that she has. She has, okay, so My Hair Academia fan, she does have a Todoroki underwear set, so it's super cute. She got some Ugg slippers to go with it and some more braids. You can kind of barely see 
the melanin tattoo that she has right there. Um, and then she has this exact same outfit with the little Naruto bonnet on so that she could wear it all. See her beauty tattoo, Beyond Fear, Lies, Freedom tattoo. She has her melanin tattoo and her Playboy bunny tattoo. So just those, but that is what she has on. And then she has her other outfit for when they're kind of having a good time. I'm going to kind of do something with this outfit, but I'm not going to give y'all spoilers. So let's just kind of skip that one. So we see it the next time. This is going to be her party outfit. So Jenny and Beverly love to pop the fuck out and party. They will be doing a lot of that in this Let's Play. So this is her first party outfit. I'm over here just popping. Got the shoes, got the nails, got the little hentai necklace. Then her next outfit. So I told y'all, Beverly always wears her twist, but she sometimes likes to wear wigs. So y'all don't forget that she's a motherfucking bad bitch. And you can still be a bad bitch and twist and braids. But sometimes she feels like switching it up too, because she a hottie. And that's what hotties do. So she decided to switch it up and wear this little lace front wig with some Chanel earrings. Very, you know nice thong and some heels for this outfit with some bright red nails and some jewelry so just a little slight flex because she can like a look at her she popping then we have you know same kind of like mate um dominatrix kind of outfit just in case they decide to go anywhere you know still got coming with the braids and the swoop de doo edges that's her, her outfit for that and then last but not least, her next party outfit is another one with the lace front. She usually, you know, might only finesse that when she's going out to party. But these are only two lace fronts she has in all her outfits. So she decided this is kind of like for a girl's night out if they want to go somewhere and do some things. All right, this is her first swim outfit when she's feeling cheetalicious. You know, just a basic little bee necklace, some earrings, some lip gloss, and some lashes. Next, she has her swim wear. And as you can see, Beverly is a Scorpio. So Genevieve is a Virgo. Beverly is a Scorpio. So they've been best friends for forever. And um, this is her next outfit. So she had to kind of showcase her little Scorpio side for the public. This is her next outfit. Giving y'all blue, blue's clue with some Chanel glasses. And then... This is just the same outfit for when she wants to swim without the slippers and sl sunglasses. And then this is her final outfit with just her go-to twist because that's what she knows and loves. And just, you know, a little teeny beanie bikini. And this is her next outfit for hot weather. So this is her Gucci belt. Peep the black One Punch Man Saitama. We love to see it. If you haven't watched One Punch Man, the anime, go watch it so we can have some things to discuss on my next live stream. Uh, but yes, it's a great anime, so I had to make her a little tube top in it. She got her little Bantu knots for the culture. It's hot as hell, so she got to let her scalp breathe sometimes, her Scorpio necklace, and then her little black karachis. So this is what she has on for that. Next, she has on just this kind of basic outfit some sneakers some shorts with this little belt that comes with it still rocking her necklace with this kind of see-through long sleeve top and this lock wig and this is like i think my favorite hot weather outfit of hers she got this kind of like orange lock wig some glasses it's popping out like orange you glad you saw such a bad bitch period like ah love it she's super duper hot so why not show your legs because it's hot and you're trying to live <laughs> um and then her fourth hot weather outfit is right here this one i really like she got some heels on she has on this kind of one piece jumper and i like the chanel glasses and i think it's like a maxis match hair but i really like the way it looked on her so i just went ahead and gave it to her but it looks super cute and last but not least this is her fifth hot weather outfit just some harachis and the same outfit just with a do-rag 
Because it'd be hot. And sometimes she'd be sweating her edges out. So, gotta switch it up. And this is her winter outfit. So, when it's cold outside, she's gonna put on a mask. Unlike some people, <clears throat> she's gonna go ahead and flex on us just with her little gloves and just keep it cute, keep it quiet, keep it warm. So, that is her first winter outfit. This is her second winter outfit. Basically, the exact, well, not exact same thing, <laughs> similar um shoes kind of long fit but this is her second winter outfit same thing she has on a little gucci mask just being cute just you know popping with her mask on and then she has that same first outfit just with a do-rag so she said i'm here to stunt and that's what i'll do so here's her first outfit with the do-rag her lips looking kind of dry baby girl I have to throw some chapstick on your ass because we don't do that. No, no. Too light. There we go. So, yes, yeah, she has her next outfit. And then I don't know why Sean take her chapstick off, but I'm not going to let you be caught slipping, baby boo. I got you. Got you. Moisturized. Exactly. But yeah, this is her next outfit. Basically the same as the first one, just with a bonnet. So yeah, these are our bad biddies for our Let's Play. You have Beverly Petite and you have Genevieve Venus. So these are our baddies. We are going to be seeing a lot of them. Um, and let me just go ahead and try to get into this Let's Play and do a little something something now that they have, you know, moved in some of those boxes. All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and give you a tour of the home and show y'all what everything is looking like. I will be changing up basically like all of the rooms and decor um, throughout this Let's Play, but I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like while they're moving in. So this is the very front of the house. They finally got the U-Haul out of the way and most of the boxes moved inside. And then once you go into the front door, you have like this pool area in the back of the house i might switch this up you know i might move the stripper pool out here if y'all hear any um noise in the background it is my girlfriend on her game um that's the struggle of living in a gamer household everyone's always talking um so this is the very backyard um with the little grill area i'm probably gonna add in like um what do you call it a bar and a different grill there's little music stereo player over here and then once you move in from the bar you're basically going to go through the doors over there let's pretend that went through the door and then you'll see the living room in the living room oh i think genevieve just made some jaw fry stitchy kind of move it over here with bottles yes yeah, she made some jaw fry so i'm actually gonna move it because it's like in the way um yeah <laughs> let's go ahead inside this is what the kitchen area looks like. So um, you see they still have their boxes. They still have some, you know, do say bottles because they motherfucking hot girls, some crowns, some wine. Uh, Beverly just made some jollof rice. I know this ain't like the best looking jollof rice, but shout out to the um, CC creator, Ice Moon Moon. Is that how you say it? I hope that's how you say it. Um, but shout out to him for um, creating these great um, food mods for the game. Um, I'm still really sucky with camera control, so just bear with me, y'all. It's just starting out. Um, so this is basically just how the first floor looks. You have like a living room area, which is right here. And so as you can see, Beverly and uh, Genevieve are over here just chilling together. Beverly is eating um and yeah so this is basically what the living room area looks like and then there is a small bathroom area which i will also be renovating right here in this corner let me show you what it looks like so there's this kind of like bathroom area i do like like the flowers that are included tub two sinks i will be keeping it and kind of having their own little beauty corners maybe um a shower and then some boxes with their toiletries and some towels. 
um and that's basically all that's on the first floor if i remember correctly yep that's all that's on the first floor and then on the second floor is where you have their bedrooms there's kind of like this balcony area um that's in the middle of both of their bedrooms as you can see i might kind of make this even an even like bigger leaf wall or whatever <laughs> and then here you'll see our bad bitch beverly's room right here i'm basically just gonna be revamping all of this she did bring put her um stripper pole in there already as you can see but yeah this is gonna be beverly's room and then once you move over here in the other corner of the house this is gonna be genevieve's room so the rooms are already kind of cute but i do like um using lots that have a little less cc and then adding my own personal cc um, from my game into them to switch it up how I like so this is gonna be Genevieve's room which I will be editing and then this is another shared bathroom upstairs for both of them to use I'll probably add a shower and a tub area um, just because it be not everybody takes baths all the time um, but yeah I think that's basically uh oh yeah that's basically it um and that's how everything looks from the inside of their house they also have like this cool i can barely see it but this cool um moving fountain like right behind them right underneath the stairs which i really really liked so yeah this is basically what the house looks like and i'm gonna go ahead and make sure that both of their motives are in check so beverly is doing good she is eating her jello fries Right now, one of her modlets is Hydra Lover because I will take them from you, leave you crying without a second thought. What's that say? Galifanor. <laughs> and then spending time, this sim loves spending time with friends and family. That's one of her personality traits. And then meal prep time, this sim loves to cook. So why not cook enough meals for an entire week? And Beverly's feeling days from clothing item while talking trees make perfect back scratchers. They're pu plaintive cries for help may or get positively irritating i don't even know what this means i don't know which one of my mods is making this happen but okay um and analyzing sim or oh, it's trying to give her a personality trait if you guys do not have um kawaii stacy slice of life mod go ahead and download it because they have a whole bunch of cute personality traits to add i thought i added one for her before this happened but i guess not i'm gonna go ahead and add a personality trait pick a personality type and i had picked the was it the performer socializing yes it was the performer so i picked her as the performer um and that's gonna be her personality trait all right um i also had to change her hottie trait to a real hot girl trait if y'all want to read it i'm just gonna link the hot girl mod in the description box below um, but I added the real hot girl trait for her because the hottie trait just randomly stopped working. It's supposed to be Virgo. Don't know why it's blank, but she also got the Virgo trait. She is an everyman, so they just want to belong and feel like part of something. They lack any distinctive identity and rarely stand out. <laughs> Rebuked. I don't like that one. Um, and then she is a performer. Um, neutral to being pregnant. Indifferent to being romantically exclusive. Just go ahead and pause these if you want to look at them. Um, she's fully licensed, so this is with the Explore mod from um, Kawaii Stacy, and she is a lover, so she craves intimacy, lives to experience pleasure, and is very passionate. And then her extra alluring trait, and then some of the in-game in-game traits that came for Beverly. She's a visionary, so smart and curious thinkers who cannot resist an intellectual challenge. Popular hobbies for the ENTP include continuing education writing art appreciation playing sports computers and video games travel and cultural events she's also an everyman fully licensed i changed her to a college hottie so i will also link that in the description box below um, for where you can find this mod then she's a sage so they seek wisdom and focus on finding the truth in every situation however their knowledge seeking nature may cause them to think too much and not act enough gave her the scorpio trait luckily her showed up she's a quick learner she prefers non-exclusive romantic relationships and she does not want a pregnancy right now so those are just some of the in-game traits that popped up for her i'm gonna let her um finish eating her jello fries and then i am going to let her use the restroom because her bladder need is a little low 
so she gonna use restroom beverly went ahead and uh oh beverly went ahead not beverly <laughs> genevieve went ahead and she's eating her plantain <laughs> chips i went ahead and moved it into first person mode this is like one of my favorite things about the sims 4 like this first person mode yeah sometimes you'll see floating eyelashes yeah sometimes you'll see you know floating nose rings but you get to see them eat jello fries in first person view like who can't beat that so she's gonna go ahead and be clean and clean up her plate why she's washing dishes in the bathroom sink i don't know but i'm gonna go ahead and disable dishwashing let her finish here disable dishwashing here actually it's not really gonna matter because i'm gonna be removing those sinks anyways but because she is a motherfucking hot girl why is this bitch cooking again you just cook she said i just want to chef it up um i don't oh there's that's one thing that's missing from here a bar but it's fine i'm gonna see if i can just get them some alcoholic beverages from the fridge they only got beer oh they got a rainbow cocktail i know that's right and what was she about to cook gingerbread stars girl ain't nobody asked you to cook again stop cooking clean up after yourself instead because you just ate put this away your two servings that are left and get you a nice rainbow cocktail as well to cheers and celebrate oh i missed it to cheers and celebrate your new move in because why the hell not gag, gag. Gag, gag. okay beverly is bored or not not beverly jenny is bored so i am going to help her out bitch because obviously you need help um watch anime Why, with of course hunter hunter i'm biased gone and keep it my face right, go ahead and watch hunter hunter with your boo bitch because y'all are popping and y'all just moved into your new abode with your rainbow cocktails i know that's right in your bonnet go ahead and watch it beverly move your ass on somewhere why are you in the way like this Go sit the hell down. Hey, Kilowa! Tip, tip. Kilowa! Uh, yeah, Kilowa. What the hell? Get your ass to somewhere. Period. All right, y'all. Why are y'all sitting so far apart? Y'all best friends. Why y'all being like this? Beverly, I'm saying that shit like I ain't sorry to go sit over there, but it's fine. You you could have known. You could have known. Thank you for not being extra special. Um, talk to your bitch. Y'all just okay. You already getting up. Like she ain't even finished hers, and she got hers before you. Thirsty ass. Oh. All right. Let me see. Friendly. Um. Chat with friend. Become best friends. Y'all should have already been best friends. I don't know why this game is being extra, but whatever. Why is my camera? Yes. Yes. Oh, not her crying. <laughs> I know, bitch. It's so, it's so beautiful. So oh. beautiful. Um. Grab no boom, huh? Ooh, I feel like going to strip club. Girl, you trying to go to the strip club tonight? Never. What's good? What oh, is it no. <laughs> We could throw some ones for the one time. Oh, yeah, but Sonny. Oh, oh no, a bit. <gasps> bitch, you ain't asking for no money. Um. Uh -huh. Toki boo. Praise romantically non-exclusive lifestyle. <laughs> I know that's right. We motherfucking hotties and we don't deal with these stitches and stickles <laughs> for too oh, oh. long. Um, I have all, all right. of these like. Yeah, you have three. Yeah. Oh, Absum. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Add roommates. No. Hot grad, grad life, tell Genevieve's, oh, ask if you'll be in school, party life, ask Genevieve if she drives the boat. So, Bitch, so. I know you do. <laughs> Why are you flirting with her? What's, oh, both of y'all are flirty. But don't flirt with your best friend, ew. Weirdo. People who do that stuff is so weird. Like, but don't flirt with your best friend. Like, either y'all are friends or y'all are fucking, like, it's no in between. <laughs> Yeah, Compliment personality because she's a bad bitch too. Oh. 
And what do I want them to do? Let's go for a swim. It's hot as hell outside. They um should be moving in, but who cares about that? Bitch, we're living. That's what we're doing. Um, actually, it's hot. They deserve to chill. While they're chilling, I'm actually gonna have um I'm gonna put in some pool accessories so y'all can see me decorate a little bit for the pool. I will end up, I think I might stream some of the builds that I do for the actual house, but I'll see how I feel. I'll see whether or not my game is going to be mad slow or fast. I do have a lot of CC, so um, the better build by mode does help, but it still be lagging a little, just a little, but not as bad as <laughs> the game. Um, let's see. I'm gonna have them chill inside of this pool. It's definitely gonna have to be redecorated, but for the sake of this let's play, I'm just going to not do it right now. <laughs> do it on my own time. Go ahead, bitches. Go and relax. Go and relax together. I'm so confused what's happening. There we go. You're so much fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel that way about me, too. Whole lot of game shit. I know that's right. So, just both going to the pool to swim and chill and live lavishly. Um, I'm gonna... Can they talk for me, Sean? Just, like... Friendly... Oh, they gotta walk over. In my mistake, I'm a hot ebony. Period. Um, yeah, I'm just going to actually have Jenny. Can she not put on any sunscreen? I thought that's what she could do. But it might be because there's no, oh, there's no sun. It's too cloudy for sunbathing. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Bitch, where are you going? Sit. Girl, if you don't relax, take a nap. Chill out. You've been doing too much the whole time. And you take a nap too. Y'all been moving. Take a nap. Get your energy up. Because we're going out tonight for the one time. Oh, why is it zooming like this? Oh, before I let Beverly take a nap. Beverly, bring your ass here. I'm actually going to have her research universities. And I want you guys to basically help me decide which university that she's going to go to. Let me figure out. If All right, Bev's. Let's go ahead and I'm going to have Beverly research some universities. I want you guys to be, you know, the speaker for this. So you guys are going to be, you know, my hot girl assistant and just gang shit. And help me kind of like move this let's play in a direction that y'all wanted to go in. I'm clicking it, but nothing is popping up. I'm confused. Okay, there we go. Oh, you can sort interactions. I have so many mods that I've honestly kind of <laughs> forgot about. And I really need to go through the process of doing it, but y'all just gonna have to watch me struggle like in real time because I don't care enough to do it on my own. Watch hood rat fights. <laughs> I'm dead. Um, study for simlish class. Check online report card for updates. Register for online learning system. Where in the hell? Oh, university. I click right past it. Nobody was gonna tell me, but it's okay. So I'm going to have her research university. There are two universities in this game, Clark Atlanta University and Howard University. So I want you guys to basically help me decide if she's going to go to Clark Atlanta or if she's going to go to Howard. I'm going to, I'm gonna have her come right back here. Why is she not super splash bitch? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's all super splash is and y'all both in the way of each other. All right, go here. and research both of these universities. So, you know, she is a college hottie. She really wants to make sure that she can get her medical degree so that she can start, you know, working in a hospital one day. Of course, she's still going to be running her business with her bestie, Jenny, 
but she still really wants to become a doctor because that's something that her parents always wanted for her and it's something that she always wanted for herself and the sex shop is not you know it's just a little detour from it but that's her end goal that's her dream so we're gonna make sure she achieves her dream why is she not sitting down okay maybe go ahead sit first Look at that body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Oh, you can't even see it through the wall. Damn, bitch. Learn your control. Roll, 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 roll. <laughs> first of all. <laughs> all right. So Clark Atlanta University is the first one that she's going yeah. to research. And then she's also going to research Howard University. If it pops up. There we go. Look at her. Quit clacking away with her nails. I know that's right. I know that's right, bitch. Go ahead, see the tea. Google, Google that shit. Okay, so Clark Atlanta University is in search of finders and makers, innovative, creative, and conscious leaders prepared to address the challenges of their world and communities. This is a training ground for you to develop as a person and professional, combining small class experiences with research, performances, exhibitions, or even hackathons. You will develop strong relationships within the village of students, faculty, faculty, staff, and alumni. With all of that preparation, you too will be able to chart your course through your mountains. So there are the Clark Atlanta cheerleaders, there is the National Society of Collegiate Scholars, and there is the National Society of Black Engineers. I might make her a collegiate scholar or a cheerleader. You guys will help me decide that as well. Then the degrees that they have are the art history, communications, culinary arts, drama, fine art history, and language and literature um, <laughs> literature degrees. And then the distinguished degrees they have are biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, and criminology. So that is what they have for that. And then for Howard University, let's go ahead and see what um, degrees that they have. So Howard University holds nearly a millennium of history within its traditional halls of learning. Founded in 1867, Howard University is a private research university comprised of 13 schools and colleges. Students pursue studies in more than 120 areas leading to undergraduate, graduate, and professional degrees. So you have the Howard University cheerleaders, then the Howard Players, and the National Association for the Advancement of Color People, or NAACP. And then their degrees are biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, and criminology. Distinguished are art history, communications, culinary arts, drama, fine arts history, and language arts. In all honesty, I'm not going to ask y'all. I lied. I'm sorry. I lied. Um, I'm going to just make her go to Clark Atlanta because it's clear that the distinguished th degrees at Howard are more like art history communications based whereas the ones at um clark atlanta have more to do with medicine and i really want to get her um in a distinguished degree so i'm actually going to have her you know go ahead and just apply she does have some traits that are already um pretty high so i hope that that helps her get in um right now one of the traits that she has oops what am I doing? One of the traits she has, she's level six in cooking, level six in fitness. She's level three in uh, gambling, because yeah, you know, she works at the strip club, so some of these niggas told her how to do it. Level three in uh, gourmet cooking, level four lap dancing. Her logic is at a six. Her mixology is at a four, because she learned some tips from Jenny. Her pole dancing and rolling and sex expertise is maxed out. Her shit talking is at a seven. Her twerking is at a max five. Her pictures are at a five, and then her wellness is at a four, and her woohoo skill is at a two. So those are just some of the skills she already has. Hopefully that gets her some scholarships. It says Beverly's University application is on its way. The university will look over the application and mail the results back sometime in the next few days. Beverly may also check her application status at any time on a computer. So what I'm going to have her do now that she went ahead and applied already, I'm going to have her actually apply for some scholarships. So university scholarships, um, apply for scholarships. And then in the next episode, I will show y'all like whether or not she made it in and all that. Oh, did I just click it away? I didn't know you had to click it individually. I thought it was just like an automatic thing. It's been a minute since I sent the sim to university. So 
let uh-huh. she's not going to physically go into the university. She does have a business. She is a business owner. So she's going to be working and doing all of this uh-huh. stuff to get her medical de- degree virtually. Well, Most of us have dealt with virtual learning and all that um, since this pandemic started back in 2020. So y'all know what to do with all the virtual learning. So that's what she's going to be doing in this let's play. She's going to be getting her degree. She's going to go become a medical doctor all from the comfort of her home and her computer. So I'm just going to apply for all of the scholarships she applies or she qualifies for. Right now I only see four. Um, It was athletics, food and drink, helping hand, and then... um, the Newcrest residence. So she just moved to Newcrest. Oh, she was in San Mai Shun for a while, um, but they finally decided to move to a quieter area just because they wanted to make sure that, you know, all of the people who frequent- frequented their sex shops um, didn't like know where they lived as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and have her apply for the final Newcrest resident scholarship to finish this off. Let's go ahead and check on Jenny. Jenny is still just she relaxing. Okay, she just relaxing. Why she look like this? Like she looks so like fed up and just like, why am I even here? Like, why am I here? Okay, you're bored. I get it. You don't have to say it like that. Like, ugh. All right, let me go ahead and make them do something fun. Trash anime. I know you're not trying to call Hunter Hunter trash, bitch. I will choke you out. Don't play with me. Ugh. All right, so they're both kind of bored and I'm bored too. So what I'm going to actually do real quick before I let y'all, before I let them go out the house, because they are going to leave the house, um, while I'm talking, I'm going to let them kind of spruce up and get ready. So go ahead. Beverly, you're going to take the downstairs bathroom. You're going to shower. You was just in a pool, so pee like a champion, you confident bad bitch. Take a shower and go ahead and let me up and you are going to do the same thing yes. Beverly you're going to go upstairs you're going to use the restroom you're going to take a quick bath let's let's sweat what a rush this boost of adrenaline is making Genevieve feel amazing should she firmly embrace with her astonishing sculpted arms that she likes fitness yeah sure why not like fitness because y'all are going to be working out and taking care of yourselves always um it's not letting her go here go here oh didn't nobody tell you to sit there girl i gotta teleport you and stuff oh so extra bitch all right now that she's unstuck use the restroom or can she not get up here okay whatever I guess you can go after Genevieve. She already used the restroom. Y'all are best friends, though. Like, it shouldn't be a problem for y'all to pee together, right? Like, y'all are gaming. Oh, she said no. Nah. She said get out. Okay, well. Anyways, Genevieve, at least you're nice and dressed and kind of ready, but not really. Um, Let me just have her change her outfit real quick. Quick. Y'all are about to go out. It is 10 p.m. So I am going to be clean out this dirty food that you seem to have. Um, I am going to be. Where is it at? I don't know why I'm like not knowing where any of my things are, but whatever. Let me change her outfit real quick to one of her party outfits. This is a, a chill night out with the girls. So I'm going to change this into ah. a little chill outfit why does it look like this oh no <laughs> it was such a cute outfit and creative thing and then she walked out and now she just looks dusty as hell why 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 are you like this oh anyways i'll go back and refix that outfit let me try a different outfit looks like we're gonna be on a different kind of energy tonight because that outfit was not trying to cooperate with nobody party all right i guess you want to step the fuck out so this one okay but she said i'm ready to step out this is our first night out so you're not about to put me in no regular regular smegular shit and i respect it i respect the genevieve 
clean out your dirty food because you can't bring that shit out with you to the club mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i'm also going to change your outfit because it's gonna take too long for you to get out this damn towel all right so beverly put on her mm -hmm. little blue fit or whatever she mm -hmm. said bitch i'm ready to pop the fuck out genevieve come in here too I want y'all to take pictures together. Take pictures together. Where's your phone? Huh. Take photo with so y'all have some memories for your first night out together. I have finished washing the dishes. <laughs> Go ahead, Bev. Where are you at? Where are you going? What is this girl doing? Beverly just been irritating me this whole uh -huh. time and we just started playing. Like, please do better. Please. Please. Next episode, please. Act like you have a comment. Sick of foos? Huh? All right. Take this picture, it. bitch. Let's be cute. I know. That's right. Like, bitch. Okay, Beverly, you smiling a little hard. I don't really like this face that you're doing. I might have to retake this. Like, she outshining you. Y'all both supposed to be, Blue like, the same Rambla. level of bad bitch. <laughs> maybe if Beverly take the picture, maybe, you know... <laughs> Jenny won't just demolish her and just, you know, eat her ass up like she just did. Is this going to be better? This one a little better with the knives in the background because they cut throat because they kill us. I love it. I love it, bitch. You had the angle. The lighting is right. Ah, I love it. Okay. Let me aim. Let me aim, aim, aim. I wish I could zoom out. I need to get them like actual camera stand. Ugh. All right, fuck it. Close enough. Oh, wait. I'm being stupid. Duh. All right, <laughs> this is so cute. First night in the house. I'm gonna just take a whole bunch of pictures because I can. Adorable. And I'm gonna pause it real quick. I am definitely gonna just put this shit up like right away. Cause why not? Who gonna check me? Nobody. Cause they put the shit right here. Ooh. I know that's right. Um, Add frame. Let's make it black look at them first night in the house friendship all right so we got that and what we're gonna do is just head out because we're motherfucking bad girls and it's a sunday night and we supposed to be out and about so let's do that shit um let's travel together with our bad bitch jenny and oh i didn't even show y'all okay hold up before we travel reset bitch don't don't cut me off thank you before we travel, I want to kind of show y'all the neighborhood that they're in. I forgot which neighborhood this is specifically, but it is in Newcrest. Um, they are going to kind of be switching between Stan My Shoon and Newcrest for the majority of this. It might stop at um, Dosol, Dosol, whatever, <laughs> Valley um, every once in a while just to kind of, you know, go to the strip club and stuff. But this is what is like right in front of their house. Why can't I see this? Oh, I can. It was just like inside. Okay. So this is basically what's right next to their house. I'm trying to give y'all like a bird's eye view. Um, this is what's right next to their house. So it's kind of like a university hangout. A lot of university students come here. So once... Um, Jenny gets accepted into Clark Atlanta, fingers crossed, so that she can start getting her medical degree. We will stop by here to try and see um, what other university students we might know. Trop Tropical Cafe Sildi, Rita Nail, Subway. It's really more like a nightclub um, and a dance hall. And then right next to that, there is a Foot Locker bitch because these bitches love shoes of all kind. And, you know, Jenny especially loves her some, some sneakers, so... They live right by a Foot Locker. And then there is an LA Fitness literally right down the street. Like their house is right there, right there. And then jog, 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 jog across the street, LA Fitness. And shout out to Sierra, um, the simmer, because her bills just be too popping. And bitch, like, look at this shit. Look at this shit. These bitches about to be in LA Fitness working out and getting their booties right, right there. Like, bitch, don't speak to them. And then here is um, the Greasy Goods um, food. If you have not downloaded this mod pack, definitely do. Kind of adds like burgers and greasy food, fast food chains to your game. Um, I did kind of switch up the menu. So there are like some McDonald's stuff on here and some other custom food content on here. But it's really, really cute. 
Um, and this is basically just the stores that are in their immediate area. So Foot Locker, little university hangout, dance spot slash subway, greasy foods. And of course, right next to the <laughs> greasy foods is a fitness place. So they might be tempted to stop by every once in a while. So yeah, now that I've showed you the actual neighborhood, let's go ahead and check out um, just somewhere for them to travel real quick and just turn up for the night. I might be ending the let's play right when they get there. Let's actually go back to San Mai Shun. That is their motherfucking city. That's where they go to turn up, to get lit, to do everything that they got to do. So that's where we're going to actually head to San Mai Shun. Quickly clack, bitch. All right, so San Mai Shun, this is actually where their um, sex shop is. So the Pleasure Point Erotic Co. I'm going to save this for episode two. So I'm not going to show y'all what it looks like, but I'll save this to show you in episode two. So come back and y'all can see what their sex shop looks like because they are the owners, the Bonnet Chronicles. Um, there is a dispensary. Low key, I'm going to have them stop at the dispensary first to pick up some <laughs> things before they go out for the night. All right, bitch, we out motherfucking side. Let's do this shit. So here's the little dispensary. Um, This is basically what it looks like from the outside. Let me go ahead and move this shit. Or is this the outside of it? Hold up. Oh, this shit is definitely sideways, but that's fine. Um, This is what the dispensary looks like. It's basically like right in the heart of San Mai Shun, right in front of the politics and stuff. Weed is illegal here. So actually, let me double check that I made it legal in base mental mods because I am not trying to get them arrested for that mess out here. Settings, legalized cannabis in, legalized in. Is that what it's gonna switch it to? Okay. So it's legalized in San Mai Shun. So just make sure that they don't get caught up. It is legal <laughs> now for them to go to this dispensary. Not trying to get my bad bitches caught up on the first night out. Um, they're going to go here together and basically just kind of check out the spot. This is what the inside looks like. 420. They got a whole bunch of things up on the shelf some bags to pick from some bongs to buy um they even have like a little spot in the back um if you want to buy some like weed and use food some prices 12 dollars for a gram maybe 15 must be some gas um and then they also have like this nice little hookah spot in the back if you want to kind of try out some of the stuff you just bought so we're gonna go ahead and buy both of them a bong um jenny let's do this kind of pinkish one i'm not trying to have her own it i'm trying to have her buy it okay she can buy this one and i'm gonna have jenny buy this one all right period so we got first bong and then uh, let's get some some kush let's get some purple ak-47 jenny get you some uh, og kush and what else we want to do sour og these are like jars but like can you actually done curing okay so they are done curing let me see. AK-47. This is kind of red. Purple haze. That's one I already got, though. Sour Diesel. Fuck it. She's going to buy Sour Diesel. And she's going to buy her a small Sour OG. Don't clean shit. Period. And do they even have, like, actual rolling papers? Or is it just shop for okay or is it just actual okay doesn't look like they have any rolling papers just the bong but we are gonna test out you know our supply before we leave open that up open that up too oh can you not even i don't think you can open these oh i can't open them because their drug skill isn't high enough look at my stupid ass all right i'm gonna go ahead fuck it they lost that sell it took the l lost money whatever buy you some sour og and 
buy you some didn't you already buy fire diesel uh-huh. i feel like you can never have too much purple haze get you some purple haze too all right so why are you embarrassed bitch what what did they say this sim was so busy waiting for their turn to talk that they toned out what that sim was saying it'd be like that bitch dry skin oh okay y'all will do your skincare routine when you get home but y'all are out for now so be dry and be embarrassed all right so sit and try this shit together actually change the strain to purple ak-47 first uh-huh and try can y'all try it out is she trying uh, it? oh she don't uh, like it why don't she like it what'd she say uh-huh cured buzz from sense of smell it smells as if some weed nearby is done curing uh, yep dirty weed uh, this weed is terrible oh lord jesus all right now nah, i'm gonna hit reset because y'all y'all struggling <laughs> y'all struggling all right change that to that og kush even though it's only normal quality i might just throw a garden in the back of their house so they can start growing their own plants because it's all about wellness and growing your own things is such a great thing to do okay change low color that's fancy or whatever all right so let's go ahead and see if they like trying okay. out their hookah because hookah still got the black community by the throat girl are you okay yeah she said i'm doing all right i'm good or whatever you know my eyes are a little red but i'm still cute i know that's right beverly how you doing you ain't even take your shit yet why are you looking like this beverly fix your face uh, uh, waffle. okay forget you too are you gonna try it though at least jenny hit it jenny over here feeling it beverly you just you just look tragic why are you doing this maybe she's just like i don't want to okay she's not even try come on don't be difficult Bev, we supposed to be out having a good time. You need a drink. That's what you need. Oh, fat We're going to get you boy. drunk. Because, bitch, you being different. Like, why are you feeling embarrassed? Like, this uh -huh. is too much. We're going to leave and go somewhere else in San Mai Shun. Because Beverly is kind of being, like, in her feelings a little. And it's not that fun smoking with somebody who's a little sad and embarrassed. So, we're going to travel. And we're gonna actually go somewhere else. So let's continue traveling and find our new place to pop out at. Bamboo? Oh, boo schwabby. Let's go, bitch. All right, so let's go ahead and see some other places that we can travel to. Um, Sephora, there's a vegan restaurant. Uh, let's go to. San, no, I was just in San Mashuno. Know. Let's go to Doso Valley. And that's where we will... Actually, I'm like, do I want to take them to a spa? Ugh, what do I want? They've just been moving all day. Like, would anybody really want to go out somewhere if they have been out all day? But I kind of want them to get drunk, though. They got drinks at the spa. Let's go to the spa, bitch. You already in your feelings. Maybe the spa will help her relax. She can put on a face mask there and she won't feel judged. So I love it. All right, y'all. So my bitches <laughs> just pulled up to the pretty girl spa. Um, Let me go ahead and keep niggas out because ill. Um, where is it? Gender and more not allowed. Who men are not allowed and uh, children are not allowed and is that it everybody else should be cool man women no paparazzi bitch it's a spa for our celebs to give them a fucking break um and that should be cool let's say no fans because don't nobody want to be dealing with them niggas either all right, so we are going to the Trap Girl Spa, bitch. Like, this is for all the hot bad bitches alive to go to. So they're going to the Trap Girl Spa. Shout out to QN, I think it's QNY Simmer. I hope I said that right. For this wonderful build that I've been getting a lot of use out of in my games. Um, Where is Genevieve going? She gone, like she already know where she at. Like, what are you doing? 
Genevieve is already changing into her role. Bitch, I know that's right. Genevieve got the type of energy that Beverly needs to be on. Because I don't know what the hell Beverly's problem is. But she's been having a little stank attitude since this last play started. And I'm, I need her to change that up. So let's change into your robe. Um, Genevieve. Let me see. Is there a bartender? Yes, bitch, there's a bartender. Hey, bitch. Hey, bartender, girl. You look so cute and so pretty. Order drinks. Order drinks for the group. Um, bitch, what do y'all have on tap? Only this? Girl, oh, no, baby. You're going to have to. I'm going to have to change your. I don't know. I mean, maybe I can order a different drink. Like a custom drink. Custom drinks. Buy, there we go. Buy custom drinks. And uh, I guess you can come down here and buy it too since you want to be difficult. For older drink? No. Custom hmm. drink. Buy custom drinks. All right. Oh, wait, what did that say? I just exited out. I'm so used to Xing these notifications out. Um. Re shit talking level eight. Beverly can now invent new hashtags and perform an enchanting introduction on other Sims. That's cute. All right, Genevieve <laughs> is here. Oh, Sinoche. Snavy. Genevieve about to order. Okay. Okay, this is what I like. This is what I'm talking about. The custom drinks, the drinks that I really want. They got an apricot, Bellini. Fucking cherry bomb mocktail. No, nah, we need that liquor. Gin and tonic. Where is the douce? Where is it at? Nowhere. 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 Y'all niggas don't even got like some fucking whiskey. I guess I'll take the whiskey. I guess. I guess. I guess. All right. Let's just go ahead and just do a whiskey. Let's do like three shots of that because it's been a long moving day and we deserve um go ahead and drink that bitch drink it up drink it up drink it up why does this move so slow yep just like that she is hot as hell y'all look at her eyes this bitch is gone she is living her best life i know that's motherfucking right jenny i know that's right Beverly, I know that's right too with your hot ass. You better order you a drink. Loosen up. Yeah, get back to being flirty. You are a hot girl. Ain't nobody got time to be embarrassed about shit. Get you some fucking whiskey too. Because you need a strong drink. Because you a strong woman. Where is it at? Whiskey. That's rum. Period. You're going to get yourself three shots too. Save them hoes for later. Go ahead and drink, drink, drink right now. I don't really like the fact that they only got bongs. I'm going to order... Oh, I can't order nothing until I get home, I guess. Whatever, it's fine. Let's see some of their moodlets, what they have right now. Jenny is very confident. A warm drink can give any moment a nice glow. She's stoned AF from smoking weed, high on OG Kush. She's feeling a close connection with Bev from feeling close to someone nearby. It feels great to spend time with someone with whom Jenny feels a deep connection. Then she's tipsy. She's feeling a little inebriated, bitch. You need to drink again because you're not drunk enough for me. Go ahead and drink. Yep, just like that. Drink it up. Drink it up. Yep, yep, yep. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, you are doing what small. you're supposed to do. Yes. <laughs> um, Beverly, you're obviously going to have to take a shot again because I know your ass. You just, just go ahead and drink both. Just go ahead and drink both, Beverly, because you have been acting so different and so difficult. So you're going to need both. Um that's basically it okay oh now she's drunk I only took her ass two shots okay bitch lightweight a little bit um y'all both before you go anywhere deserve a massage who is this man i really don't want this ugly nigga touching her okay who's this man though you know jenny feel a little or not jenny bevy bevy feel a little flirty so she might not be mad at it Who's this? Marcus Flex. This nigga don't even look the same. This is a different um, save file. Like I told y'all, I think I told y'all earlier. Um, so he might look a little different, but okay. Get a massage from him. Let's do a deep tissue massage for Marcus. <laughs> and I don't see any other fucking 
Oh, let me pay the bills. Okay, yeah, you get a foot massage from this little man over here. Request a hand massage or a foot massage from this man. And I'm going to pay the bills real quick so the lights don't get turned off in their brand new home. Jenny, where are you going? This lot is huge. Like, it's so big. Ahaha, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> For my office fans. Um, okay, let me see. Not the New York spitting on the bitch. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Yeah, go ahead and get your foot rub, bitch. I know that's right. You deserve. You deserve all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at her. She looked tired as hell. But she said, bitch, I'm getting my feet rubbed, the toes. Everything just looked good. Where is Beverly's ass? Probably doing some shit. Oh, okay. She about to change. Yeah, go ahead and change for Marcus or whatever, you know. Make sure he get in there real good. What's this say? Has to pee. Paranoid. Oh my god. Beverly is so extra. Like, she's the only one who's been causing me stress this whole let's play. Jenny is just chilling, but whatever, Bev. Get your little massage for Marcus. I might make her flirt with him because why not? Like, bitch. But pee first. Where's the bathroom? There's no damn bathroom over here? What kind of spa? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let her use the bathroom. And then she'll come back and flirt with him after he's done with her massage. Cause you know that. Oh, yeah. oh, don't break her now. Be careful, nigga. The fuck? She's not gonna flirt with you if you don't give her a good massage. Yeah. Come on, this is not a chiropractor appointment. Oh my God. Shufa. Oh lord. All right, bro. Survive. Let me see how my bitch Jenny is doing. She got a good foot massage. She looks tired as hell. She look ran through. Ah! <laughs> she look ran through. But oh, Jenny, I know you. Okay, come on, my bad boo. Let me get you some sleep. Loki, before you sleep though, like just take just take one more shot. Just one more shot. Like nothing's gonna happen if you just take one more shot. And you know, just a little just a little poo poo puff pass, you know, smell some OG Kush before you go to sleep. Maybe I'm being a bad influence, but you be alright. You be alright. You really have to sit to drink your shot. Oh, Zombo. She said, Yeah, I did bitch. Okay, bitch. I know you're tired. Take your shot. Oh, she said that shit is not it. Oh, she got to pee. <laughs> Why everybody got to pee? Beverly, go pee too before you pee on yourself in front of this semi-attractive man, but barely. Finley? Oh, Fennip? Fennip? I don't even know why the women be sitting like this, like a G with the legs all spread open and shit, but I'm not mad at it. Better drink up, bitch. Smoke up. All right. And Beverly's going to pee. She is tired as Jenny. Not that tired. Jenny is going to pee next. And then, bitch, you deserve to go sleeping in a fucking sleeping chamber because this was a little bit rough for y'all. Sleep. What's this? Sublime. And why doing all that? Sleep. Oh, she about to pass out. Beverly, where your ass at? Is Marcus still at his post? Cause if he is, like, bitch. Yep, he is. This nigga reading and shit. Okay, Mr. Reed. Swimming club. Something she's interested in. Passionate romance. Let's, no. Let's do romance. Enchanting introduction. Mars. Oh, oh she's drunk as hell. Wasted. She is wrecked oh, and utterly wasted. Oh my god, bitch. Please don't embarrass us. Why have you still not gone to pee? If you pee on yourself, I'm gonna be so upset. Genevieve. Stop being like Beverly. Oh, she done gave him the enchanting introduction and shit. This nigga stressing. I'm really not even trying to talk to him. I'm just trying to fuck, so... Is he with it or no? She already introduced herself. Affluent Adidas. Oh, open love life. 
friends with benefits. You showing it? Oh, Rep C. Oh, Ruskin, Lampima, uh -huh. Galimpa, Oh, nay. Yips. Uh, prop your bow. Acquire the romance traits. Okay, so she got 1% romance. You know, she's just used to fucking and dipping. She ain't used to all that romance shit. But let's see. Hot grad, open love life, romance, go do something together, talk about turn ons. Confess to never have woohoo. Girl, this is too much. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep. Y'all ass is tired. I'm tired of dealing with you. We will we will aim for, you know, these niggas in the morning. Cause bitch, you could you give me stress. Where the hell is Genevieve at? Genevieve, what are you doing? Oh. Genevieve, I'ma reset your ass because you doing a lot. Okay. Go sleep. And bitch, you go sleep too. Because obviously, well, you're not as tired. You're just acting up. Oh, is he leaving? Oh, hold up. Who's this? Oh, she's kind of cute. Hi. What's her name? Alisa or Elise. Hi, boo. You cute or whatever. Let me say hi. Let me introduce myself. Romance. Flirty introduction. Fuck them niggas. Yeah. Oh, dag, dag. Okay, girl, bye. Let me see your wallet. Shrubby no, first. Walk. Okay, she <laughs> talked back to her. Okay, she got a little, a little boost or whatever. I like this. Um, Passionate romance. It seems like a little it's much enough. off the top. Let me pause it real quick. Why none of my urban socials working? Whatever. Um, Admit to feeling deep connection. Ask about WAP. Ask what their mouth do. Exchange numbers. Let's just exchange numbers for now, so you can just call up the bitch when you want to hang out with her next. Yeah. Aww. And then you can just go to sleep because obviously, oh, this bitch in here floating. She said, "Bitch, I'm about to sleep." Good. Ah. There we go. She said, "Bitch, I'm about to sleep." Good. I woke up like this, like. Look at this. This is fancy. She's sleeping, sleeping. All right, Beverly, where your ass at? At least you got a good massage. Deeply relaxed, even though he was trying to break her back, literally. Um, ooh, soothes fully into submission. A cliff face of relaxation emanates from your person. I know that's right. All right, so she wants to get into the sleep chamber. Wow, I want to see what it looks like. Yep, with the bonnet on, because it's a bonnet chronicle, bitch. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Wow. All right, y'all. So they are sleeping in their sleep chambers. We have went to our spa for the night. And we're going to leave them with their sweet dreams. And episode two will basically start um, from here. We're going to be seeing if she got into Clark Atlanta University for her medical degree. We're going to start, you know, fucking these stitches and sigas for the one time and just linking up with people and turning the fuck up. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.